let's create a new folder model and then inside this folder we will have task dot dot so let's create class task and now this will have the task i'm sorry and we'll have the date so there is a variable in dart called date time that deals with the date and time so simply call the time so this is done now let's create its constructor so task this dot task and this dot time so now let's create another constructor so there are two methods one that i have discussed uh, in one of my videos that is called named constructor that is task dot uh, from json or something like that so that is one method there is another method that is using the factory keyword factory task dot from map and now over here we take a map or we don't take a map we don't actually need a map we just need the task so let's call it from string and then over here we take a parameter string task and now like uh, before when we were using named parameter task dot from string without this factory then we would have simply written this dot task is equal to this task and this dot time is equal to date time dot now but since we are using the factory one we will return we need to write, have a return statement and then ultimately we will be returning this constructor so i'll write return task and then over here i need to call the named parameters and that is a task and task is nothing but the task parameter that we get over here and then we have the time time is nothing but a date time dot now okay so this is done now by this uh, by calling this method we can create a object of this class task now to store it in shared preferences we directly can't store a model class as it is not serializable so instead we'll store it uh, as a json object or most probably a map that is also a json type of thing just uh, there are extra just uh, there is a flexibility to add commas at the end if we want which we don't have in json so that is only the difference between json and a map in dart so let's uh, see now i want to return a map of string and dynamic of string and dynamic and that is return no sorry not return that uh, this method can be called get map okay and then over here you return a map that has a name as task and the task is this dot task and then we need a time now there are we simply can't send this date time object as that is again another object that can't be serialized so we have another parameter that is called milliseconds since epoch so epoch is a constant time and the difference from that till this uh, variable that till the time that is stored in this variable is measured and sent and so this is two way thing if we have the difference we can get the date time variable from now and if we have the date time variable we can get the milliseconds since epoch from that there are milliseconds there are microseconds we can use whatever we want so i'll simply use this dot time dot milli seconds since epoch so now by this i'll return this thing and now i also need another method so that it will take this uh, map and then parse it to a task object over here we are parsing it from a string now we need to parse it from a 
map so task dot from map and we need a map of type string and dynamic and let's call this map so over here i'll get the map from map task and the time will be date time dot from milliseconds uh, from uh, milliseconds since epoch and then the time is map time so as i told earlier this is a two way process we can get the milliseconds since epoch from the time and we can get the date time from the value of milliseconds since epoch so milliseconds since epoch this variable is independent of the time zone you can read more about it if you want if you like so now i think the model class is ready now let's get back over here first let's import this model class import now whenever we are importing some uh, project uh, file we leave our line gap and we use referential indexing so double dots backslash i can see model and inside that i can see task dot dot so this is the standard practice for importing all the flutter imports or the external package imports are together one after leaving one line we use all, we write all the project level imports and if we have dart level imports we leave yet another line over here and that goes at the top so this is the standard practice that is followed and we will follow the same so now this save data uh let's let's create an object so i'll call it task t is equal to task dot from ma from sorry from string and then the string is task controller dot text okay so this dot text returns whatever value is in this uh, text editing controller so now we have our task over here let's save it in the shared preferences so for that over here i'll write uh, prefs dot put string Okay, I don't know it is put string or set string. I think it was a set string. Yes, so it is a set string, and then the key is uh, task, I guess. Okay, and then we need to give the value. So this uh, we have a set string, so we need to convert the value to string. So for that, I'll use a dart package. and as i told it will go at the top import dart dot convert so now we have json this uh, json json keyword is inside this convert package json dot encode so over here you can see it takes a object of type dynamic and encodes it to a string so json dot encode and then over here we will give the map so t dot get map cool so now we have saved the data now once this is saved we can close the bottom sheet if we want so let's see let's see if it is saved or not also we can't <laughs> possibly see it is saved or not we can see if there is some errors or not we will see if this is saved or not after this most probably in the next video so let's see enter some task demo task 1 and click on add unhandled exception missing plugin exception so you can see so this means that uh, we are this uh, shared preference is not found in the project and that is because uh, we have added this uh, shared preference while the project was uh, debugging so the shared preference is added to the project but it has not been transferred to our mobile or the emulator that we use so let's uh, close this
and uh, start it again run run without debugging select dark, dart and flutter now over here we can do one more thing that as soon as this task is created we empty the text controller so i'll write task controller oh i'm sorry the spelling is wrong task controller dot text and we force it to an empty string so now if you would remember this underscore uh, 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 before any variable name makes the variable private okay and if we don't uh, give an underscore then by default it is public so that was another thing that we have discussed in the starting of this series now let's wait for the build to finish and then let's see so now the build has finished let's uh, save this change that we made over here now let's add a task demo task one and if i click on add the text is getting removed and we you can see there is no change in the console but uh, along with that there is no error as well so the task is being saved now we'll see how to retrieve and display it over here in the next video thank you